Alright, um, assume the episode uh, resumed. Uh, let me just double check. Yes, it did. Okay, let me get back into the game. Cool. Start this timer. Uh, this nigga's still a mid kick, so I'm probably gonna immediately get hit, but that's okay. One, two, three. Ooh! Shit! Nope, still got kicked. Yep, nope. Get my ass There's gonna kick. be some real face pops. You got to, like, parry. Oh yeah, this is like he, yep. This is yeah, parry intensive fight, that's all I gotta say. Okay, I got it. Alright, yep. Uh, he, okay, alright, yep, now he's counter attack. He's, he's counter attacking. Yeah, he, 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 yeah. Get the fuck off me. Oh shit. There you go, there you go. You just attack straight through me. Alright. Alright. So, this is the part where he's gonna basically. What's up? He's gonna start throwing objects at you and that is not too so bad. Gotcha. Oh, okay. And nice. also math damage. Oh, I have to hit him multiple times? Yes. You gotta strike immediately. Got it. There you go. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Alright, if you want to, you can use an EM grenade and destroy that. Oh, okay. Uh, nope. You just wait, parry him. Two. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna try to do those uh, EM grenades. There you go. <laughs> Got hit his head. And then damage. There you go. Attack his head. This is the whole fight. Okay. Alright. All right. Just watch for those parry cues. Yeah. Oh, come on, I totally did that. Bullshit game. Look at boy, 6% HP. That's that real. Nope. Oh, God. Damn! For fuck's sakes! I'm literally the fuck out of my controller, man. I don't know how fast we can do that shit. Yeah, it's like instant. Oh, but fuck, I can see! This oh, is the guest risk. Be quick about it. Yep. Wait for it, there you go. There you go. And just drop health. Hey, most certainly not drop health. Okay, there you go. Oh, uh, I thought that was health. Nope. It's, it's fucking grenade. I can't hit that! Come on, Al. Yeah, that got me in like the hardest difficulty. <laughs> Killed me instantly. What we were doing? Oh Shit. my fucking god, I didn't think he was gonna start shooting. Wait, he's gonna start throwing legs at you. Gotcha. I mean, you just look out for that. Ow. Ow. I, I don't know if the, the. I guess that is. Alright. Alright, okay. Yeah, there it is. Oof. I, I'm not getting anything this guy's doing at all. He's kind of like throwing his body parts at you. 
I, I like clearly see that. Next. Think. Oh wait, no. He's doing it again. I don't know what the fuck he's doing. Okay. I've barely been able to carry this. Barry, I don't know if you want to. You could just uh, run I'm around. I'm gonna try to do it anyway. <laughs> That's fine. Just run around it. I mean, yeah, this one's good. Duh. Okay. Yeah, there is explosive debris falling. He should be serious. Yeah, it's near the end. Okay. Where are you at? Oh, yeah. Sending the legs, parry those. Yep. Oh, again, this. Yeah, it's a. I wish the parry bundle was separate from your primary attack button. Got a point there, yeah. Yeah, I don't like the fact that it's tied to the same fucking button. Yeah, I'm never gonna get that. So at this point, I'm always shaking the fucking thumbstick, it just doesn't matter. I feel like it just, yeah, after once or twice, it just stops working. Yeah, the uh, where's that motherfucking hand at this damn point? Alright, come on, man. Jeez, I, I fucking right. had. Oh my yeah. fucking god! He, he does like combos. Oh, shit! I'm saying, what the fuck? Okay, we can probably do this. We gotta get serious. We only got like one more less. Yes, I know. I, I fucking know. This, this fight really starting to piss me the fuck off. Now, okay, he's doing this shit again. Okay, yeah, this is it. This is the end. Just swing, swing in every direction. Vertical, horizontal, all that. Can't deal with this fucking kick. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm fucking come on, okay, man. She got three back, huh? Mm -hmm. Two back. That's right, progress. That's, that's progress right there. Okay, here we go with this. 
It's probably the only section I can fully uh, like kind of understand. If he does the one on the bottom, that's a, that leads to a combo. Oh yeah, yeah, I, mean, I know. I've gotten hit by it like three fucking times. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Yeah, like that. Can't, can't, can't do that. Yeah, it really just doesn't happen. No, at <laughs> this point, I'm gonna stop trying to wiggle it once I get hit by it. Oh, my bad. I know it's like five fucking kicks. Oh, not this stupid fucking thing again. He said you can, period. You can. I'm gonna try it. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. I did it once, that's all I could do. Unfortunately. Come on, Bryce. There we go. Progress. Oh, God. I really can't keep up with this shit. Yeah, you might want to stop right there. It's a bit too much fun. <laughs> right, this is definitely the end. He's gonna hurl that. Uh, You're gonna have to ninja run and hold that button. Okay. I believe it leads to a quick time event. So you have to press two buttons at the same time, then some dots it. Would just attempt that again. I probably just took that from the top. I get it now. It's just a little slow on the uptake. Yes. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. Your means and here. I passed. You really have that mean to begin with. I'm fine, Captain. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. Come to me in pieces in this next part. Well, I... This next part is gonna be a bit hazy. Gotcha. Uh, I guess I'll take a try at the uh, technical side. I thought I'm just gonna get to see on like every one of these damn missions.
hold up. I would recommend to see if there's any like health or um, Zandatsu upgrades first. Get that out of the way. I'm still show you how to perform them, but according to the main. Yeah, it's from like the main start menu. I forgot what it was. I forgot what button to press, that's the thing. Yeah. I think that's like you flick it up, down, and you press the button. And that's just. I think you press. I think you press Y uh, some, some in any direction midair. Uh, yeah, I could just spam buttons and, and, may, and we'll just pray that I do it by accident somehow. Oh, Fair enough. You kill Monsoon. I'm impressed. The brains are in the server room undergoing training. Knock yourself out. Go! I think it's... Yep, there it is. Oh yeah, they got the fucking Devil May Cry pause after hitting the button type commands. Alright, gotcha. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, so play. wait. A left thumbstick? What did you flick it up? What? It's like you do it twice, I think. Huh? Yeah, I think you do it twice. Do what twice? Oh, I guess okay. it's up twice and then you press it. Yeah. I'm never doing that. Yeah, I get used to it. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much used to this kind of crap. Like, like. Oh. oh. That's the broken move that you would have to learn in order to beat the vengeance difficulty. I never really use those weapons in any of the game. I just use the sword the whole time. No, the defensive, the whatever, the defensive offense. I mean, it's like just, uh, it's like it's like fade away from uh, Moss Hunter. It's tricky time. That's why after, it has wait, to after throw dash. Put throw dash. I don't know, I have no clue what that is. Oh, I'm dumb. Never mind. I, I think it's what they're saying. All right, cool. I'm sorry, sir. Our business hours for the day have ended. We are looking forward to your next visit. That's right. If you want to jump around, you can see the rest of the body. <laughs> yeah, I know. Future. I think you can cut that. Your yeah. promo is basically your devil trigger. Yeah, but yeah. Look like it on my eyes. All three. I 
Ah, shit. Ah, whatever. Up G, way too far away. There we go. Oh my god, there we go. Damn. Some blood dumps is more too sensitive. Very lagging on my screen. Oh, I forgot about Blade Wolves. Oh, okay, I see it. Rapidly drains your, uh, what do you call it? Oh, you yeah, can even cancel it like double Kirk. You don't have to drain all the way. Nah, uh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh my god, this weapon's here. Oh, alright. Oh, okay, alright. the fuck? I think it's dead. Nah, it's not quite dead yet. Yeah. Oh, no. You're lagging on my screen. Ah, that's tough. Ah, you'd be able to watch back and play that. I got 2013 playthrough right here. Yeah, we, uh, okay, so I gotta figure out how to use this weapon, but it's probably a like top it. floor. Time to make your way up there. That's great. I never used the pole arm or the side. I used sundown as weapons. Oh. Okay. Real charge heavy attack. Happy Boris. They're all dead. No mercy. Just like you wanted. This right. So much for all that shit I said I believed in. I read that only one in fifty soldiers can kill with zero hesitation. Guess I'm a two percenter, huh? <laughs> I know what they went through, yeah. But I sure as hell didn't let it stop me. No. I guess not. Regular guys. They couldn't handle it. All the blood and body parts. The fear and dying eyes. Me, though. I like it. A lot. No hesitation. No regrets. Maybe it's in my blood. Maybe it's the Sears program. Probably both. The younger you learn a thing. The better you retain it, you know? I remember Liberia like it was yesterday. All the abuse. The threats at gunpoint. Next thing I know, I'm getting off on cutting guys to shreds. Right. But afterwards... Afterwards it was tough. Especially once I got to the U.S. I got counseling. And education. But every time I talked with someone normal, I felt like all the killing I'd done was gonna crush me. And it didn't stop. Not in my dreams, anyway. I'd hear voices at night, calling out all my crimes, but I couldn't shut them out. The rest of my crew adapted to American life well enough, but I never could. Mm. And it returns only now. Raiden, I'm sorry about earlier. I was too hard on you. Nah, I'd be dead without you. I'd still be in Liberia, surrounded by crazy. I've always known you have a dark part in your mind. Perhaps I should not have hired you at all. Perhaps you should not be near Battlefield. The hell with that. If I hadn't signed up, I wouldn't be here to help put an end to this. I gotta do what I can to stop that VR training. I'm not the only one suffering. I need to do this for my old friends. The boys back in Liberia who didn't survive. I survived all the killing, thrived on it. But the experience destroyed them. Duh. Sorry. I better get moving. No good voice acting. Grab No good voice acting. Yeah. What do you really think about what Mark that. Stone said earlier about memes? You think we're all doomed to follow some coded in routine? That there's no free yeah. will? Well, you're always going to have restraints based on what culture you're born into. The concept of memes was first proposed by Richard Dawkins in a book called The Selfish Gene. Dawkins, a biologist, stated that even if the actions of a living thing appear to be altruistic, each of its genes is still engaging in selfish behavior, purely as a matter of survival. Yeah, I heard about that. He went on to define memes as a different kind of self-replicating unit. They're the genes of a culture, from fashion 
to chord progressions in music, even political expression. And just like normal genes, they replicate. They grow, infecting more and more people. You buy a shirt you like and put it on. Other people see you wearing it and buy it for themselves. Yeah, the genes of a culture makes it all sound pretty lofty. But the way Dawkins puts it, memes can also transmit worthless things, even the bad parts of a culture. Fashion's one thing, but value-related memes can put huge restraints on people's lives. For example, the idea that having lots of money is the ultimate goal, the thing we should all strive for. <laughs> like in the U.S. Any capitalist country, really. But anyway, you catch this money worship meme, then not only are you trying to get rich, you're also spreading that idea to other people. You have to. If that meme isn't the cultural norm, then what are you working for? So you start spreading the word about how important it is to succeed, earn status. Right. And the really contagious memes can be even worse. For example, revenge. A guy sees his countrymen killed by terrorism, so he becomes a terrorist and retaliates. It's an infinite loop. I think it's the same thing with child soldiers. Kids' parents are killed by other kids, so they join the war next and start killing other people's parents. There's got to be a way to break the cycle, though. Dawkins wrote about that, too. How we can rebel against our genes and memes. Once you're aware of your own memes, yeah. you can train yourself to identify and replicate the good ones. And kill the bad ones. Right. Well, that starts with me stopping this VR shit. The Sears program's one hell of a bad meme this year. I like no, I doing this shit on purpose. It's cool, uh, buddy. That's how you uh, learned how to fight. Yeah. You caught all that. Guess I was Jack the Ripper all along. All that talk about justice. And here I am, just another killer. Raiden. Listen, I want you off this mission. You don't have to go through this. Kevr Doc can handle saving for me. Raiden, I, I don't want... It's my responsibility to stop them before they make another Jack. It's my duty. No one else's. That's the way it is. Live by the battlefield, die by the battlefield. Raiden, listen. Courtney, this isn't the place for you. Keep working with me, and you're gonna wind up someplace dark. Uh, Bitch. I, I swear to God, he does nothing like what? this milk or saw to it, uh, trust me. They're kidnapping kids. They're ripping their bodies, tearing up their souls to make soldiers. I feel like they have to pay for this. If I just quit here, how would I live with myself? Courtney. I mean, maybe I'd be happier going back to school, getting my MBA, making six figures. But now I know. I've seen the truth. And I can't just forget it. Maybe I can't do what you can, but come on. At least I can handle your data. Hi. So do you want to save or not? Don't really need to about doing anyway. The fact that they right, put that into the dialogue is to sure hear your as a genius. Okay. Yep. Look, you know you aren't Jack the Ripper. Hi. I mean... Sure, you don't exactly hate every minute of your job out there, but the Raiden I'm talking to right now, he's the same one I've always known. The one who put his life on the line to protect the innocent, not just some maniac with a knife. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'm just out for revenge against everyone who made me this way. It's more than that, Raiden. That much I know. In any case, I'm going to stop this VR training. All right. Good luck, Ryden. How's it going with the brain units, Doc? Any problems? Oh, they could not be better. They're being kept at exactly 36 degrees Celsius with a steady, uninterrupted supply of oxygen and glucose. Synchronizing them with our equipment posed some difficulty, but everything's perfectly stable now. That's good to hear. What kind of VR are they getting? I prepared very comfortable rooms for each and every one. It's not quite Schloss Neuschwanstein, but each one enjoys the equivalent of a four-star hotel suite. Every room includes an attached pool and an extensive library of on-demand video programming. Three meals are delivered daily, and while we're only able to do so much vis-a-vis -vis taste sensation, it should satisfy the psychological need for food, at least. Doesn't sound too bad. I wouldn't mind a little VR training like that for a change. Oh, be my guest. I'd like to experience it for myself, you know. But for now, it is available to cyborgs only. 
exciting work's being done in the realm of invasive brain machine interfaces. But there simply isn't much demand for it at the moment. I guess not too many folks are willing to stick electrodes in their brains just for a taste of VR. Uh, perhaps, but the sense of reality is considerably improved over nanomachine-based non-invasive methods. If prices were kept low enough, I imagine the video game industry at least would clamor for it. Who coded Please, no. the virtual hotel? <laughs> An assistant. He used to write VR programs for UGs, but now specializes in cyborg software. A bit of a niche right now, yes, but when brain-machine interfaces take off, it will be a big business. The children's accommodation is a reworked version of the original beta software he built. The room's 3D models are all made using free libraries. It couldn't have been easier. <laughs> I wish everyone loved their work as much as you do, Doc. They don't go stir-crazy, though, cooped up in their rooms? There's little I can do about that. Creating an open world would take orders of magnitude more resources. What about communication? Another weak spot, yes. The NPCs available to us are all for military training purposes. It will be some time until we see VR characters capable of convincing the human interaction. Sadly, we're also not yet able to connect multiple brains to a single VR space. My assistants are operating virtual agents to give them a bare minimum of mental care. But our team is limited in size, and none of us are medical professionals, you know. They can't stay in there forever. We do not yet know the location of the server room, but Sundowner is on the top floor, correct? Yeah, I'm headed up there now. It appears the elevators have been disabled. Then I'll use the stairs. The stairwell has been sealed off. I will search for another route. Thanks. Shit, these ventilation systems. Alrighty, we uh... Got this episode here. Um, yeah. Whole lot of action in this one. Just me getting my ass kicked on the boss fight. Yeah, that was some crazy stuff. But I still got to check to make it, uh, see how it turned out. <laughs>